I recently picked up this lens. This is the GF45 2.8, which is a 35 2.2 equivalent in 35 millimeter terms. And I inaugurated the lens by going on a brief four day trip down to Santa Cruz and trying the lens out. And this video is not going to be a lens review, uh, but I will talk a bit about the lens after I go through the trip. And there will be chapter markers below if you're curious about that. And in this video, every shot you see will be taken with this lens, and the video will be marked in the bottom right, uh, whether it's from my phone, an iPhone 12, or the GFX 100. It's going to be a slight difference in content from what I've normally been shooting, but um, I tend to find just watching people shoot to be like relaxing and enjoyable. Maybe you do too. I remember Honestly, the thing that made me want to start making these videos years ago before I started making them was watching negative feedbacks videos and just enjoying the vicarious experience. So maybe that's true for you too. And unlike some videos, I'll be shooting digital for this. Personally, I love both film and digital. They each have advantages. When I'm traveling, I generally shoot digital because it's one less thing to worry about. And when I'm shooting in the blue hour handheld like I did on this trip, it's lovely to just be able to crank the ISO up to 1600, 3200, not worry about it, have image stabilization, whatever. So day one we drove down from the bay and had coffee at Cat and Cloud. I'm a huge fan of the chain. It's They have like three or four locations now. And, and after getting this coffee, we went down to the beach, uh, stopped at the SS Palo Alto, which is apparently an old ship that was sunk to provide a fishing pier. And we kind of wandered around in a daze because it was really unseasonably hot. And traditionally when I am traveling, my attitude is like just grab photos wherever, um, focus isn't on the photography, but I think recently I've been learning to be a bit more intentional when I travel. So stopped for a quick burrito and then that evening went out to the cliffs to shoot. This is a super popular touristy spot and as pretty as it was, it's not really the type of stuff that I tend to enjoy shooting. I think it's important to just in your daily life and when you're traveling, shoot photos. But I also, for the second and third nights, intentionally made plans to shoot in settings where I thought I'd have more promising photos available. Day two started the day off again with some great coffee at Cat and Cloud. And we drove down to Panther Beach, which I'd recommend very highly. Super pretty cliffside, classic California coastline, beautiful sights and traditional landscapes if you're into shooting that kind of stuff. And on the way stopped at this flower field with these beautiful yellow iridescent no matter how I grade the footage and edit the photos, I won't be able to capture this iridescent shade of yellow. And it was remarkably uncrowded, maybe because the Super Bowl was ongoing. Um, and that afternoon, evening, we walked down to Black's Beach. We were staying in Capitola, so it was maybe a 25-30 minute walk. I love when traveling, going for like 20, 30, 40 minute walks and just capturing the random sights along the way. I find it very hard to get good photos of well-known objects, but when you go for a walk, you can shoot the Mimi gas station shots that you've always dreamt of. Got down to the beach, it was very pretty, pleasant light, did some reading, listened to the ocean, uh, and then walked back during blue hour. It can be challenging with film unless you have a tripod, but um, in this case, I was shooting digital, so I just cranked my shutter to a longer shutter, opened the lens up to f2.8, uh, ISO to 1600, 3200, and shot some photos, and it was pretty easy. And definitely shooting in blue hour more is something that I'm putting as a goal for myself because it only lasts maybe 20 minutes or so, and it's really easy to just slot it on to the end of your shooting. Day three, we started the day off with some more coffee. We went to Verve, which is 
the OG specialty coffee shop in Santa Cruz. Now, in my mind overshadowed by Cat and Cloud, but the coffee was still good. Went down to the Capitola beaches, grabbed a breakfast burrito, looked at some folks surfing. Surfing is very big in Santa Cruz. Grabbed some wine. This place called Beauregard is pretty well known apparently. Um, quite traditional style of wine, not really my thing, um, but reasonably well made uh, and enjoyed it. And then that night shot what I was most excited to, which was going down to the very touristy, traditionally, boardwalk and captured some of that without all the tourists. And it was a very surreal scene. You could hear the traditional carnival music and the top 40 fighting with each other. I think with the normal crowd sounds, it wouldn't sound so peculiar, but just being in this deserted place with the music going uh, was very surreal and cool and grabbed a couple photos here that didn't particularly turn out, but then walked through the hotel area by the boardwalk and captured some of the photos that I'm happiest with with the trip. And our final day in Santa Cruz was really brief. In the morning, we stopped for coffee. We we went down to downtown briefly, stopped by the cliffs, and it seemed like as good of a time as any to head home since it started to drizzle a bit. Had an easy drive home, really enjoyed the trip. So I'll now talk briefly about the lens, the 45 2.8 for the Fuji GF GFX system. Size and weight is reasonable, um, but not tiny, definitely a lot bigger than the 53.5 that I'm shooting this video with. It's extremely, extremely sharp. Um, all of the GF lenses are sharp, but this lens is especially sharp. Even at f2.8, if you are a sharpness fiend like I am and you like printing big like 30 by 40 or larger photos, then the sharpness is a plus. I'm going to show a quick sharpness demo at one to one so you can get an idea of how much resolution this lens offers. I found it to focus very quickly. Um, I had not installed the most up-to-date 1.1 firmware, so I was just using contrast detection, but still found it very quick. What I did have a lot of trouble with, and what I'm doubtful the firmware will fix, um, feel free to correct me below, is video focus was absolutely terrible. Um, the only way I could make it work was I'd pre-focus, start shooting video, and when it would start to hunt, I'd stop the video and it would hunt for 10 plus seconds without ever locking focus. So really frustrating to shoot video on this lens. And my experience has been that the linear motor LM lenses for GFX work pretty well for video. So the 53.5 that I'm shooting with and the 16, sorry, 24 to 63 uh, zoom are both LM and those have worked great for me for video. So that's it for this video. I um, hope the slightly mixed up format was enjoyable. I'm still quite new to this. Appreciate your thoughts, feedback below. My videos, photos, music that you hear in this video are all licensed under Creative Commons. Feel free to use them um, as long as you're not making money off of them and you provide attribution effectively. And I appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, um, consider subscribing if you feel like it. And I hope to see you again. I release something like a video every month. So see you next month. Hope you have a great day.